Pharmacy departments across the country are preparing to make big changes to their vancomycin dosing processes because of the new 2020 vancomycin dosing guidelines. In this video, we'll explain what you need to know from the guidelines about dosing and monitoring vancomycin patients, including the one big guideline change driving new practices, why the consensus guideline team prefers Bayesian guided dosing, specific updates for obesity, hemodialysis, and pediatrics, and then three simple steps to begin implementing the guidelines at your institution. Okay, the one big guideline change that we have to say up front. Trough-based monitoring is no longer recommended for patients with serious MRSA infections. Instead, the guidelines now recommend using AUC-based vancomycin dosing and monitoring, uh, using either first-order PK equations or the preferred Bayesian dosing software program. And we'll talk more about why that is. Uh, but the AUC target is 400 to 600, assuming a vancomycin MIC of one milligram per liter. Now let's talk about that Bayesian dosing method. So if you're wondering what Bayesian guided dosing is, you can check out our video entitled Comparing AUC Dosing and Monitoring Methods. But to summarize quickly, uh, Bayesian guided dosing is a precise and patient-specific way to estimate vancomycin AUC. But in addition to that precision, there's a few other reasons that Bayesian software is preferred. Uh, one, Bayesian dosing is faster. With an EHR integrated Bayesian dosing system, AUC dosing and monitoring just become more efficient. Uh, two, Bayesian dosing requires less sampling. In general, for every two levels you have to get with first order PK equations, you can generally get just one level with Bayesian software. Uh, and three, the Bayesian dosing allows for more flexibility. So not just fewer samples, but those samples can be random samples uh, from throughout the dosing interval, and they can also be taken prior to steady state, oftentimes even after a single dose. Okay, next up, some quick guideline highlights for obesity, renal disease, and pediatrics. For obesity, the guidelines emphasize loading doses and more sampling. Uh, so they recommend loading doses of 20 to 25 mg per kg of total body weight with a maximum of three grams. And for sampling, they suggest including both a peak and a trough for the first AUC estimation, even when you're using Bayesian software. After that initial estimate, with Bayesian software, you can usually go back to just single levels. Next up, intermittent hemodialysis. And the guidelines actually discuss continuing to use pre-dialysis levels of 15 to 20 milligrams per liter as a surrogate for AUC in this specific population. The dosing to get there is going to vary with the dialyzer permeability and the timing of doses, uh, but we do have a blog post on InsideRx website uh, that includes a handy table with recommended loading and maintenance doses based on those factors. And the link to that blog post is in the description box for this video. And then with pediatrics, uh, as usual, the sentiment is largely the same recommendations, but with less evidence. So the AUC target is the same, but the authors advise targeting closer to the 400 end of the 400 to 600 range due to a lack of evidence for higher AUCs in kids. For loading doses, it's a question mark. There's just a lack of evidence there. Uh, but they do suggest an apparent dosing of 60 to 80 mg per kg per day in children and 60 to 70 mg per kg per day in adolescents, 12 years and up, uh, with a maximum initial dose of 3,600 milligrams per day, though you won't often need to go more than three grams. And they support the one level sampling strategy if you're using Bayesian software. Now, if your hospital or pharmacy department is ready to adapt to the new guidelines, here's how we recommend going about that process. Step one, Get your pharmacy colleagues or your team familiar with the new guidelines. You, know, you can feel free to share this video with them to start with. You can also send them our 2020 vancomycin dosing guidelines white paper. I link to that is in the description box down below. In any case, make sure your colleagues are just up to speed on what's going on. Step two, research the Bayesian dosing software solutions. You know, it makes sense to look into the guideline preferred choice. Of course, in the end, Every health system is unique, and it's gonna be about finding a solution that gives you the most value for your pharmacy department's budget. Step three, request a free trial of our Bayesian dosing platform, InsideRx Nova. You know, nothing beats a test drive. At InsideRx, we're excited to share our Bayesian dosing platform, InsideRx Nova, with you so you can really get in there, you know, see how it feels to use it, and be part of our community. So head to the link in our description box next to request a free trial, and we'll get you set up as soon as possible.